babes, it's your favorite wedding planner, Rachel Burke Garcia, and I'm here today at Bells and Barbells, the only wedding fitness studio in the world. So I'm so excited to be here today. We're gonna learn a lot of tips and tricks about sweating for the wedding. So we're here to meet Catherine, and hopefully today she's gonna show us some awesome workouts, give you guys some at-home tips and tricks, um, and kind of kick my ass in the gym. So stay tuned to see how that happens. Okay, bye babes. I'm here with Katherine Ballberg, and she's going to tell us all about Bells and Barbells. So Katherine, how did you get started? Oh, funny story. So uh, Bells and Barbells uh, came out of a stem of love of working with people. Uh, I really wanted to work with motivated individuals, and who's more motivated than the bride or groom trying to crush it in their yes. dream dress? So true. Yeah, so it was really great. It was a perfect opportunity um, to fill a hole in the market that yeah. had a really high demand. Um, so what I did is I created a business that was solely based around private training uh -huh. because your dress isn't one size fits all. So why should your workout plan be? So true. Yep. We avoid plateaus. We cover every fitness methodology under the sun. We've got brides and grooms that were D1 athletes in college, people that want to look like ballerinas, uh, people that want to do rehabilitation, spinal injuries, knee injuries, pre-postnatal, you name it, we cover it. We want to make sure that we help them build foundations for life. So we focus Excellent. on movement patterns, mobility, and we focus on building healthy, long-lasting habits that'll last long after you say I do. So maybe you can give the bride babes and grooms watching at home, totally. um, maybe like your top three tips, fitness tips, what okay, can cool. what could they be working on, what could they be doing that's uh, you know just standard helpful tips and tricks. Awesome, okay. Well the first thing is you gotta get moving. So it's whatever is going to help you either get off that couch or get motivated to take your fitness to the next level. Yep. A lot of times people procrastinate and what usually happens with procrastination, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what we teach you is like start now get your start your marriage off on the right foot because yep. you're gonna have stress planning a wedding yeah you're gonna be pictures are gonna be taken showers parties so why not feel amazing through the whole process right like and what we tell brides is it's like before you go dress shopping start getting fit beforehand yeah because nine times out of ten you may not like that dress after the weight loss right. or after you started toning and you've mm -hmm. got that six pack, mm -hmm. you might have picked something out a little sexier. Right. Yeah, that makes totally. a ton of sense. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so keep moving. Yes. What else? Keep moving, plan ahead, mm -hmm. um, and also like find consistency. That's yeah. the most important thing. Yeah. So whenever a bride or groom signs on, we want to know everything about your life. What do you struggle with? What are your vices? Mm -hmm. Because you want to make sure that whatever you're doing isn't a crash diet, mm -hmm. isn't a fad diet, because we've all been there. Sure. It's a yo-yo system. Yep. Like we help you figure out how to work around your current life. Right. If you travel, how to modify meals when you're on the road, things wow. like that. Cool. Because that's the only way that it's going to last right. afterwards. And be a lifestyle. Everybody's like, oh, did you hear about this? Oh, did you hear about that? And then they come back later, they plateaued. Yep. And it's just, they're unhappy. So we're like, avoid that. Right. Let's figure out what works for you because you're not the same as everyone else. Yeah. So it's just taking the time to figure that out yeah. and then making it a habit. And yeah. that's what's really going to lead to success. And a lot of our brides and grooms do it with their significant other and it's kind of it's fun. It's a fun to, thing to do and it's memories that you're making together. Yeah, it's cute. I know, yeah. for me, I always use the excuse of like, oh, I work well under pressure, but yeah. really I'm just procrastinating totally. or things like that. So I completely get that. That's really cool that you kind of listen to not the psyche behind what's going on with your clients in order to tailor the program to them. Yeah, that's no, something absolutely. I've never heard of before, so that's well, really cool. Well, it's the only way that it's gonna work. Yeah. And that's how we customize it. So like one of my new brides that you just saw that was signing yeah. up today. Yeah. I was showing her that every single month at the end of the month, we have a grading sheet for every single client. We take all of their original goals uh -huh. and we've got boxes that we check like, yes, no. Did they hit it? How far out are they? What's their body fat? And I literally sit down with every single one of our trainers, go over their entire list of clients and yeah. say, why do we have like 70% no's and only 30% yeses like sure. what do we need to do to change yeah and when brides see like how much effort we put into that and the fact that we are tracking it constantly yeah and i'm like girl we're gonna ride you like sea biscuit like let's go <laughs> 
<laughs> Sometimes you need that, though. I know. I'm like, I'm like, listen, I love what I do, and I want to help you be successful, yes. but I want you to be happy while you're doing it. Right. Okay, Catherine, so tell us, what are your top three favorite exercises that maybe they could try at home that you think make the most difference in a wedding dress? Okay, perfect. So every bride, first thing that they mention is like my shoulders, my back, my arms. Because mm -hmm. whether it's a strapless dress, yep. short sleeve strap, deep V dress, yep. front, back, those are usually the top things that we Absolutely. start to work on and yeah. we talk about. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. Okay, yeah. cool. So when it comes to things like this, I'll show you a couple of isolated movements so that we can really target those specific muscle areas. But then I'll show you some compound movements so that we can bring it all together and kind of like spice it up a little bit and get that heart rate up. Perfect. Cool. All right, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bent over tricep extension okay. uh, with a slight hold at the top. Most important thing when you're doing any exercise movement, make sure you can feel it. Don't rush through it. If you have to take your time and slow it down, that's more important than, so I'll show you for example, this is kind of, you wanna bend over, raise your elbows, you're gonna kick your arms back, you're gonna rotate your palms so they're facing up towards the ceiling, and you're gonna hold. By holding it right here, you're gonna start to feel that nice burn in your tricep. Unrotate, go ahead and bend at the elbow, and bring your hands right back to a starting position. So notice that my elbows never drop. This would be like an incorrect movement. <laughs> We're not getting a whole lot out yeah, of this, yeah. right? We might, we might get a little sweaty, but that's about it. So notice how I slowed it down. I rotated my palms upward. I held it on rotation, nice and slow, and then I brought it back in. I feel twice the burn in my triceps. Cool. Yeah, love it. All right. On your feet. Got Kick it. back, pause, rotate, hold, unrotate, bend, and back to start. Cool. Okay, that hurts a lot worse than it looks. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> so it's what I tell people, like, especially if you're working on um, exercises. So sometimes we do things fast and hit, but when you're really trying to target a certain muscle, yeah. um, especially when it comes to the core, don't 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 speed your process through it. Like really make sure you're recruiting. Yeah, and you can that feel hold, that burn. I mean, you yeah. really feel the burn. Yeah, and you yeah. never. And a lot of times people make the mistake of like when you kick it up, they uh -huh. let the weight bring it down. Right. Using you the momentum. Should control yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Totally. Instead of the muscle. Yeah, I get that. Cool. All right. What's next? Right. Okay. Triceps, biceps. Right. Another great way to attack that is we we'll be doing an overhead press. So this also gets the top of your shoulders, which is super important for a bride. So same stance as we did before, but instead of hinging at the hip like this, we're gonna stay upright. I'm gonna have you set your shoulders. So whenever I say that, a lot of people go immediately to this and then watch the uh, overextension in my back. So what I want you to do is I want you to shrug your shoulders up and then slide them back. It's a ball and socket joint, so essentially you've locked it in. Now you're gonna curl the dumbbells up towards shoulder height. You're gonna press so that it lands right over your center of gravity. You don't wanna land here, and you definitely don't wanna land here because look what's happening to my back. Cool, so keep your core tight, your glutes engaged, your knees soft. Come right back down, drive. Cool, mm -hmm. and you go drive. Because now, after you do that tricep, the minute you start to do this, you're like, oh dang. So when I do a press, I actually get tricep and bicep right. out of it. So it's a great follow-up exercise. Okay, cool. And it also gets the shoulders. So Perfect. tag team. Let's do it. And up. Be careful, yeah, don't let that chest rise. Cool. And then I'm gonna adjust you just ever so slightly. Oh, okay. Yeah, so do that again, and I want you guys to see this. Yeah. See how our chest kind of wanted to rise? Now go belly button together. See yeah. how I kind of fixed it? And now she's got a nice flat back. And the reason why you keep your glutes engaged, sorry, I'm calming you a it's little okay. bit, but um, you don't want to impact that lower back. So mm -hmm. by engaging your core, this will also teach you to engage it in other areas of life. Right. Once you learn how to tie it into almost every movement you do, it'll automatically come into play as you like move about in your daily life and routine. Yeah. It's amazing when you fix my form, how much more I felt it. Cool. It's did crazy. You, did you feel it like you were like, oh yes. yeah, it does hit my tricep. Exactly. Baller. Yeah. So <laughs> here are some tips and tricks.
to kind of keep your back like nice and tight, right? But still kind of like slim. All right, so for example, when I'm gonna do a bent over row with dumbbells, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of show it this at an angle. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna set my shoulders very similar to where we did the tricep. Yep. So knees are soft, hips are mm -hmm. back, core is tight, mm -hmm. chin slightly elevated. Watch as I pull back like this, and then I go like this, and I try to draw my elbows together, and I squeeze and I hold, and then I slowly let them come back down. So here I'm gonna go one more time, pull back, squeeze, hold, come back down. So you gotta be really careful not to bring your traps into it. So what I tell people to do is focus on where your elbow is traveling. Keep it low, keep it going straight back and engage. Mm -hmm. So where a trap's coming in, this is the best. Mm -hmm. That usually means the weight's too heavy. Mm -hmm. So find a focal point. And mm -hmm. then when you start to focus on that elbow, it'll immediately drop that arm. Yeah. And then when you draw your elbows together, you're immediately tightening right here. Okay. Which is what you want. Yeah. Cool. Okay. You know like when you're in a bikini and you have that like sexy little like line right there? It's like pretty. Cool. <laughs> Alright, All right, let's do it. Okay. Okay. So same. As same before. stance. So okay. feet are shoulder width apart. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's gonna have a soft knee. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and hinge right here at the hip. Cool. She's gonna fold over. Look perfect, a little bit like tucked a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Alright, so she's gonna have an internal rotation. Alright, so now she's gonna draw her elbows up. So come towards me. Perfect. And now try to squeeze them together. Ooh. and hold. Cool, so we're really focusing, oh, I feel it really tight right there. Yeah. All right, cool, now slowly let them come back down. But remember, keep your chest pushed forward and your shoulders pushed back, mm -hmm. and pull up. Nice, and then squeeze. Remember to keep that core tight, keep your glutes engaged. Let's do one more. Okay, three, two, and up. Yeah, keeping those elbows down, and squeeze. Are you feeling it right here? Oh, yeah. Okay, fall her. Awesome. Ooh. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah. So there's so much more I could show you, but you know, yeah. we only got a little bit of time. So. Yeah. Well, you guys have to come in and then see what else there is, right? Yeah, so. totally. <laughs> um, visit bellsandbarbells.com. Watch our Instagram. We always have a bunch of tips and tricks. You just get a really good feel for what it is we do at the studio. You'll see grooms grinding it out, bridesmaids right. grinding it out. Like, whatever makes it work and whatever motivates you to get into the gym and make this lifestyle change, yeah. we're all for it. Bring it on. Yeah. I love it. Well, thank totally. you so much for showing me yeah. a couple of workouts and giving me some tips and tricks. For sure. And to all the brides and grooms out there, you know, come check them out. They're yeah, fabulous. can't wait to meet you. Absolutely. <laughs> and thank you again so much. Yeah. <laughs> It was so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, babes. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please follow us on Instagram at as you wish underscore DFW and search our wedding hashtag AYW love. We're so excited that you're tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't already and tell us in the comments below what other videos you'd like to see. All right. Bye, babes.